VS Code's built-in Git extension includes support for working with Git stashes. A stash lets you save off the state of your workspace, which you can then restore later. Now here, for example, I, in my workspace, I've made three changes. So I've made two text edits here in existing files, and then I've added a third file here, um, which is a new and currently untracked file. So let's go take a look at how we interact with Git stashes here. To use Git stashes in the source control view, I'm just going to go to the dot 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 here and go down to the section here where it has a bunch of commands for interacting with stashes. Now apply and pop are both for um, applying stashes once you've created them. So to create a new stash, we actually want to go to the stash commands down here. So we have stash and then stash include and tract. Let's just do stash for now. And now it's asking for a way to identify the stash that we're going to create. So let's call this make edits. And now we've gone and created a stash. You can see that the two text files I had, those are no longer in the changes uh, or listed in the changes here. And the contents on disk have also been reverted, but all the changes have been safely saved off into the stash. Now the cat file was not included because we did not select to include untracked files. If we wanted to include untracked files as well, we'd have to do stash include untracked. Let's just create another stash here that says add cat. So now we have two stashes on the disk. Now if we want to restore these, we can go and use either the apply or pop commands. So pop will actually go and remove the entry from the stash, whereas apply would just apply the changes and leave it in the stash. Let's go and use pop here, and we could do pop apply latest if we wanted to quickly do this, or we could do pop stash here, and then select which stash we want to apply. Let's go and apply the make edits one first here. So again, when we apply this change with pop, it is also being removed from the stash, but you can see that our text changes have now been restored. And we could also go and say pop stash, and then restore the cat as well. So now we have the cat back in our workspace here. Now all of these git stash commands are also available through the command palette, so if I press control shift P or command shift P, I can then go and say git stash. You can see I can run all the git stash commands through the command palette as well. That sometimes might be faster than going over the source control view. So those are some of the git stash commands in VS Code. They can be useful for simple cases where it's faster to go through the VS Code UI rather than going to the command line.